Hey there, Pisces. A welcome to your reading for November 2016. Thank you uh, for joining me. This month, definitely check out astrojar.com. I'm going to be making a bunch of changes to the site this month, also adding new people and adding a bunch of content, other content and cool things like that. So feel free to check it out all month. We're, like I said, it's uh, here to help people grow and help more people on YouTube grow. So definitely check that out. But let's see what's coming up for Pisces this month and it looks pretty amazing right off the bat so I like to see that let's pull an extra card for good measure and uh, yeah wow I do think it's gonna be a good month for Pisces definitely I'd say be open to new things as well I mean, that might be the most important thing, but you start off with the Four of Hearts, so it looks like an amazing love month, number one, but you're definitely going to have to open up to it. Uh, some Pisces might be a little bit closed off to love for whatever reason. Maybe you haven't had it in a long time. It's kind of like uh, you have the lovers in reverse coming up, and it sometimes, I mean, to, to me, I don't, I don't really read the lovers as a love card. I know everybody does, but to me, the lovers card is more about making a choice and it's about having a choice to make and, and like how we make that choice and things like that. So, um, you know, it's an interesting card, but, um, there's definitely some good love energy, I would say this month, uh, especially, uh, with the four of hearts. This card is a card of commitments, making new commitments. Uh, if you're in a relationship, you could be making a deeper commitment there as well. And it, uh, um, also can represent um, meeting somebody who you could commit to on a very deep level. So again, if you don't have love and you are looking, um, then th you could definitely meet somebody this month that you could commit to on a very deep level. This is also a card of new jobs, new businesses, and travel as well uh, coming up for you. Next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. And the Ten of Diamonds, hold on, let me just, uh, I have this bad habit now, everybody, of looking over here because my camera used to be over here and now it's right here. So I have to remember to look right here. But anyway, um, this card is about more money, more business coming in to you. It's also a great card of prosperity, growth and abundance, Ten of Diamonds card of travel as well and uh, planning long distance travel so a lot of you could be planning long distance travel it's also a great card for dealing with long distances in general anything involving other countries um, you know places that are far away from you and even dealing with people who are far away from you highlighted under this card it's also a great card for contracts and anything involving contracts like real estate um, you know uh, inheritances and anything along those lines and involves like signing legal documents a uh, great card for um, dealing with all of those things so I really like this for you and it's also a good card for those of you who maybe are considering starting a business this is a very good card for starting something as well. Next, you have the Six of Diamonds. Again, another card that represents a good time to start things. And anything in general, I would say, it's a card of planting seeds and uh, allowing for kind of things to grow. So a lot of you could be planting a lot of seeds this week, this month, I would say, not week. And... Um, I would say that, uh, let's see here, I think that most Pisces are probably working on like 20 things at once anyway, so, um, the, you know, I think you're, you know, it's true for all Pisces, really, you're probably just working on a bunch of things and making a bunch of improvements in your life and, and growing things that you want to grow, so this is a good card for that. Uh, next, you have the Eight of Hearts, so very good love card, great for being swept off your feet, that's definitely the energy of this card is meeting somebody who sweeps you off your feet so that's pretty good i have to say and uh if you are in a relationship it's just a good card for having that relationship again kind of build and uh, be really nice this month and if you're not again you could meet somebody really important who really kind of sweeps you off your feet right away uh, when you meet them this is also a great card again for money and finances and selling so if you are involved in anything like selling cl um, clients even um paperwork, uh, let's see, what else, um, anything involving uh, negotiations and anything involving needing to persuade people as well uh, could be very uh, beneficial for you this month. You could even gain some kind of persuasive abilities this month. So, uh, you know, we're all always selling something, every, everybody. So, you know, this is a great card for just being persuasive and things like that this month. 
Next, we have the lovers in reverse. So again, not making a decision, um, hesitating on making decisions, and kind of not uh, aligning with your true values and things like that. I think what the card is saying this month and kind of the message I'm getting from it this month is that uh, Pisces could be tempted to go back to their old ways. So uh, that's going to mean something different for all of you. But again, the message is coming in is being tempted by old ways. And I think that maybe that's because a lot of Pisces have changed and maybe you're tempted by old ways and you need to kind of stick with who you really are right now. And I would say that's probably the Pisces challenge. I mean, that's like the Pisces karma, right? Is like needing to, uh, you know, truly be who we are that we, because some of us don't want to, <laughs> you know, we don't, some Pisces don't want to be who they are. They want to be, you know, something else sometimes. And again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just how it is. So um, again, make sure you're aligning with your values this month. But the good news is it's followed up by the death card. So I think very much you are letting go of your old self. I think all water signs are. I think all the water signs are kind of like transforming in a big way and becoming more than they have ever been before. So uh, definitely embrace that change. Next, you have the Six of Clubs. So isn't that interesting? Planting seeds and then growth. It literally looks like a, two rows of plants right there. It looks like your seeds have sprouted. So a lot of you could be harvesting a lot of these things that you uh, you know have been planting and stuff. Also, a great card for intuition, trusting that brain and uh, trusting, I mean, well, yes. So that just slipped out. I didn't mean to say brain and I did. So again, trust your brain, trust your intelligence, but also trust your intuition. Um, uh, you know, I think our intuition could be very strong this month. We have Neptune moving. Uh, direct in the middle of the month as well. I think that could be very significant for Pisces um, and could definitely uh, kind of help us out intuitively as well. So trust your intuition, trust your dreams. Um, this is a great card for learning as well. So learning new skills and updating skills is also highlighted under this card. And then finally, you have the Queen of Spades. No gossip, no fighting with people in your home, especially if you live with somebody, um, you know, brother, sister, mother, father, whatever, cousin, the person you're married to, do not argue with them um, because, again, it will turn into something that it does not need to with the Queen of Spades. Having said that, the other side of the Queen of Spades is that Pisces just needs to jump into the darkness. I think that if you are one of those Pisces who's kind of like going back and forth and not really sure what to do next in business and love and spirituality, whatever, this is a card that says, you know what, you just need to jump. Just make a decision and go and and, and pick something and stick to it. Don't, don't flip-flop. I think this month it's going to be really important that you stay kind of on a straight path. Look at you know, two sixes, straight path right down the middle. So I think a lot of us Pisces need to, that's the back of the card, isn't it? But um, a lot of us need to make those decisions and just stick to something. And then that will lead us to the most success this month. So looks like one heck of a month. Definitely love finally on the table, I would say, for a lot of Pisces. So thank you for watching and enjoy your November.